taking a chance and a risk crossing, like pretty much jaywalking across the street into traffic. Parents fed up with construction around a City Heights school. Our newsroom got several calls from people who worried that it's not safe for their kids. 10 News reporter Bree Steffen, she's live at Hamilton Elementary School to show us why they are so scared tonight. Bree. Well, all of this is part of a project to improve the sidewalks and the general area, but let me show you what has parents most concerned. They're worried that the construction is blocking their kids' walk to school, forcing them to run across the road. Yeah, just keep walking. It's the morning rush to get the kiddos to school on time. Come on, guys. But Tanisha Shelley says their morning walk... Come on, Tuts isn't as safe as it used to be. Um, it's actually terrible. I guess they're redoing construction on the street. The city of San Diego started replacing the sidewalks around Hamilton Elementary a few months ago. Workers ran into a design problem that delayed the finish, leaving the sidewalks still torn up when school started. It's a big inconvenience for me. An inconvenience parents and teachers worry is dangerous. Get on the sidewalk. Even with this temporary crosswalk. I watch these kids run across the street through traffic to get to school. And I fear sometimes that I hope we don't get hit or one of my kids run out too fast trying to get on the divider right here to stand just to get across the street. It's not a quick fix. The city says it will take months to finish the construction. A delay Shelley hopes bye bye. her children won't have to pay for. It's like we're taking a chance and a risk crossing, like pretty much jaywalking across the street into traffic and hoping they'll either slow down or stop for us to get across. And the city has had meetings with the school as well as parents to talk about their concerns. They also say that their workers are not operating heavy equipment like this right here when school starts or ends. Reporting live in City Heights, Bree Steffen, 10 News.